here in front of St. James Church in Medjugorje and I'm with, what's your name? Vivian. Vivian, where are you from? Uh, England. England, where about in England? Uh, London. Wow, cool. Well, not really because I've been traveling for two and a half years. Wow, where did you travel to? Um, I was in Costa Rica, Mexico, Los Angeles, Greece, Paris, Malta. <laughs> wow, that's cool. And finally in Medjugorje. <laughs> It's the first time for you? Yes, it's the first time I'm here. I'm actually Anglican. I'm not Catholic. Yet. Wow, that's cool. Yes, so I'm just uh, yeah. learning a lot in these few weeks. I've learned a lot about the Catholic religion. I've yeah. to read the rosary. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's an amazing experience. I'm sure I'll be back. It's, it's beautiful. What is the experience? How, what, um, what did you experience? Easter, yeah. Uh, the sense of community. Mm -hmm. uh, there's just such a beautiful atmosphere here. And, uh, I've learned so much. I'm learning so much here. <laughs> did, did you feel as an Anglican as well that Our Lady is here? That, oh, that she's present? Absolutely. In fact, one of the reasons I came is because I had an experience last summer in Italy. Yeah. And um, whilst I was in Italy, a friend uh, let me, well, organized for me to visit uh, the Madonna of Loreto. Yeah. And whilst I was there, I was able to say care for my daughter yeah. um, uh, for love and protection and mm. I thought that I ought to come here and uh, thank the uh, Uh-huh. <laughs> and did you go up cross mountain? Not yet. Not We've yet. Still got two days to go. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. Up Fruition Hill you went? No. Not oh my dear, you have to go. <laughs> I don't know where I don't know where I've been. I've been, um, I've been to a number of places. Yeah. Don't worry, Our Lady takes care. That's the rule here, no? Yes, you meet the people you should meet, you yes, know? No? Yes, that's so true. So and true. and what do you experience then? Can you try describe in detail a bit what, um, what it is about Medjugorje for you? I don't know, just a, a feeling of peace and love and harmony. Mm -hmm. uh, just a beautiful atmosphere. Everybody's and so and you've learned a lot about uh, New Age. Um, oh, that's my other friend from London, yeah? Yes, and... Um, Vivian has learned a lot about New Age, which she didn't understand before, uh -huh. and uh, that has, I know it, it now will help her on her journey. Yeah. What did you learn about New Age? Well, there was a talk yesterday by one of the priests, I yeah. can't remember his name, I think he was Irish. Yeah. But obviously a lot of people in the world today, myself included, were interested in yoga and meditation. Uh -huh. And so I was able to see the Catholic perspective on that. Uh -huh. It's very interesting and enlightening. And what, what was the perspective? Could that, you that this is not actually part of the, the teachings of the church, uh, that it's a... Uh, there can actually be negative energies involved. And, uh -huh. uh, for example, with yoga, that you're actually, um, when you're doing yoga exercises, although, of course, in a gym in London, you don't know what direction you're facing in, but you're not facing the altar, you're facing east. Um, to the sun. Exactly. Yeah, so, and so worshipping pagan gods. Yes, yes, which mm. I had no idea about. And in fact, I think a number of other people in the congregation had no idea and were quite surprised. There's a famous um, priest from India, he said, there is no yoga without spirituality. Yeah. It, it just doesn't, and the Indian, also your Indian yoga master said as well, there is no yoga without uh, spirituality. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a form of adoration, yes. you know, yes. of pagan gods. And I yes. saw a lot of people who did yoga didn't end well. You know? okay. It's worshipping at, at the end of ego, of self. Yes. and. But um, so, what would you tell people? Um, what is Medjugorje about? Who, do, who don't know, like Anglican people, for example, or non-Catholics? Well, I think I think you learn so much. There are a lot of activities going on here. There's um, various uh, there's the mass in the morning and the afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, there are different languages that you can uh, attend. Father Leon, the talks mm -hmm. by Father Leon mm -hmm. have been very enlightening. Uh -huh. <laughs> and yeah, it's an opportunity to learn a lot more about the Catholic religion and. And understand it better and perhaps be less judgmental about certain things that the Anglicans don't understand. Uh -huh. Like the confession and um, the importance of the confession. I've learned that that's very important. And the Eucharist. And the, the Eucharist. Jesus. And the Rosary. Uh -huh. uh, we were staying with the Vision of yeah. a group of people the first week. Yeah. And on the last day that we were there, she gave a talk, uh, which is quite unusual because she's very shy. She gave a little talk and she talked about the power of the rosary. Uh -huh. And so now I'm... <laughs> You're keen to pray the rosary? Yes, I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning the Hail Mary. So, so in the Anglican church you don't pray the rosary then? No, no, no. We 
Yeah, I didn't know that. At least I don't think. <laughs> I never, I've never had that experience okay. in many years of uh -huh. attending various churches throughout the world. But, uh -huh. uh, but yes, yeah, so I think, I don't know, that gives you a sense of protection. I like the idea of the uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say something else to the no, people? No, I think that's I would advise anybody who's interested in the Catholic faith to you come to Medjugorje and, and really understand. Here you really get an understanding that you wouldn't get for an hour in a London church. Here you truly get a deeper understanding. Thank you so much for that beautiful interview. Thank you. Both of you. You too. <laughs> Thank you. It really